Hey guys, it's Trippy Bean. I forgot to say at the beginning of the video, so this is post-editing. This is our schedule for a week, not week, this is our schedule for the entire UPA Season 2. You will see the draft board that I created at the end of the video if you want to see who everyone else drafted. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, my name is Trippy Bean and welcome back to Season 2 of the UPA. I'm sorry if I look tired, I am tired. I got bit by a mosquito or a spider or something, so that's why that's there. Um, we got through our draft. If you guys were here from last season, probably not. But if you guys were here from last season, you would know that we went 5-2, and two, I believe. I, th I think. Let me check. 5-3. and three. We went 5-3, and three, which was pretty good. It was our first time ever trying to be a competitive battler, which we are not. We are not a competitive battler. But we got our draft done, and I'm going to show you all of them right now. So this will be a draft recap. Um... Not this week, but next week will be the first battle. I'm against the Toronto Weaviles, who is coached by Levite. I don't know how to say that name, so I'm going to say it Levite. He's probably, the way he talks, it looks like he's very smart to what's going on while I'm just ignorant to everything that's happening. I forgot to press play on this. Boom, there you go. Now you, don't he now you hear what happened. What was that? I have no clue. I couldn't tell you if I wanted to, but... We are okay. We are good. We are amazing. So, our f okay. We got three OU, three U, three NU, and three RU and three NU. I'm going to go through it. NU, RU, UU, OU. Because the best for last. So first, we got Dusk mm, Dusklops. So, the reason why we drafted Dusclops, let's look at it right now, actually. Dusclops. Base, 130 defense and 130 special defense. If you put any Violate on it, it has um, pretty good like it. Defenses, even if you don't add anything to the defenses, <clears throat> you still get over, uh, over like 400 defense on both. And it has really low HP, so we're going to have to worry about that. But it does have access to Will-O-Wisp. It does have access to Toxic, so we can stall. It does get access to Pain Split, so we can heal ourselves back up. And it also gets Haste to eliminate stat changes, which will be probably important for everyone playing. Protect, for obvious reasons, to protect. Um, does it get knockoff? It does not get knockoff, so that kind of sucks, but it's Fire Punch. It doesn't have that great of attack, but even if, like, let's say, like, someone drafted Kirtana, which is fire, which is, which is grass, steel, this thing would be able to get, punch it, and hurt it. So that's what we got. Also, it's Trick Room and Trick, so I can bring, like, a, a Flame Orb and trick it onto someone. So that's why I drafted Dusclops. So the next one. The next person I drafted, my second to last pick. So we're going backwards. So I'm not going to keep doing that because I'm not going to remember. But the next pick we got was Hitmon Top. Now the reason why we got Hitmon Top. This is all live editing. That's why I stopped talking. But the reason why we got Hitmon Top is for one reason. Intimidate. I wanted an Intimidator so I could switch in. Keep switching in on things. And also he gets Rapid Spin. So... He'll get rid of rocks, he'll get rid of sticky webs. He'll get rid of everything we don't need. He also learns... What? Oh, no, no. He also learns priority, so he gets access to Fake Out. He gets access to Mock Punch and Bullet Punch. So, the only reason why we wouldn't be able to use those is someone has a Terrain Up, which are the Tapus, which will be a problem. Only three Tapus got drafted this year, so only three coaches will have them. So, that's why I got him, actually. Um, Citrus Berry, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know how to use this thing. I've never have used this thing. What happened to Dusknar? Oh, crap. Okay. I knew I was going to do that. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm doing live editing right now. Um, Dusclops, we'll just leave you like that because we're done with you. Hit him on top. Boom. So, that's it for Hit him on top. He was only there. Oh, wait. The song ended already? Holy crap. Um, I'll just put... I'll just put that song on. There we go. Song's back up. 
a new song actually that I don't oh, this is live editing it's awful I shouldn't do this um next we have a Pokemon that I like a lot it was in our it was in our season one team last year because my buddy Josh dropped it so let's introduce you to Ambipom now Ambipom is a pretty strong mon if you look away from its cuteness you can leave life orb this is how i'll be running it most of the time technician obviously um tail slap actually no not tail slap um what's it called double hit double hit does more damage than a return if it hits because it hits twice 35 times 1.5 is something and if you times that by two it'll be higher than 105 times 1.5 I think. I don't know. I don't know. It also gets access to fake out. A stab technician fake out is pretty darn. Oh, okay, it's also technician. That's why it's better. Because it's technician plus stab. It also gets every single punch. So our first poke, the first person we're against, if we bring up his team, I forgot to do this. It'll be at the end. I'll just add everything at the end. Maybe. Or at the beginning. I'll do the beginning. I'll do the beginning. I'll show you everything. Honey, I need to stop talking. But it learns every single every single punch. Thunder punch, ice punch. So let's just add thunder punch and ice punch here just to show. Or knock off. It learns knock off as well, which is awesome. And it's also extremely fast. And it has pretty good attack. So that's how we're going to run it. Probably adamant or speed benefit beneficiating nature don't know what that nature is called because I'm not really that good at Pokemon so that's our Ambipom next you guys we have a Pokemon that no one knows about no one knows him he needs to introduce himself he needs to he needs to do a really good introduction a really good first impression we got Galissapod which is one of my favorite gen 7 mons because it's insane. You could add a choice band. You could add um, leftovers. You go in citrus berry, rocky helmet, assault vest. I was thinking of, so let's just throw that on there because I'm not competitive. I'm just gonna wear wacky things. So, emergency exit, of course. So it gets access, access to Aqua Jet. And my first impression, of course, which was what I was talking about, which is 30, I mean, 90 stab priority, which is insane. Why is there two? I have no idea. We can only use it once in battle, which is kind of bad, but oh well. Uh, what else? Leech Life is pretty good, and it can also learn stuff like Rock Slide, Razor Shell for that 50% defense drop, Liquidation for that 20, and it's also pretty good. Drill Run, I'm pretty sure I said that already, or Bulk Up even, but it has an, an awful ability, which we're going to have to get used to. Swords Dance, Toxic, Spikes, it can even learn Spikes, let's throw it on there. Now let's look at this. If you don't even touch the special defense and you give it uh what's it called an, an assault vest that defense is up past 300 that's already past 300 so if you just max out the attack and hp and give it an adamant nature that's insane right there 300s over 300 on both defense and almost 400 on attack for a priority that'll just it'll be like a revenge user i guess um, I think. Wait, is this song over? The song is over. What do I do? I'm going to that one. Just playing music. Just playing music. Um, you could probably barely barely hear it because I'm gonna have it in the background, but that's fine. <clears throat> I just woke up. Lame. The waking up. Don't know what that means, but after Galissapod, we have a Pokemon. That many people were surprised that I grabbed, but there's a reason why I grabbed it. We have Slurpuff. Now, the reason why we grabbed Slurpuff is one reason and one reason only, and that is because Unburdened Belly Drum is pretty toxic. It also gets sticky webs if I want to choice scarf it just to get off sticky webs. Probably not. We also got Play Rough. We got Play Rough in here, um, Drain Punch. A times four drain punch will get me some pretty good HP back. And if it wants to burn us, we got facade. But we're probably not gonna be worrying about that unless someone has a burn mon. So we get a slap return on it. And then the stats aren't that good. 
but if you go like this boom that times four is pretty good it's over a thousand and that when you lose the item because of unburden it doubles which is pretty dang fast as well so that's why we drafted slurpuff i'm pretty sure that's the only reason right there boom oh forgot to make it adamant so now it's even more insane but i would make this a plus so so when it doubles it'll be a lot more also i forgot to say did i forget to say oh yeah dust clops will be moanly moanly moany damn um it'll be basically here to burn things like the mega mall while we'll be want to burn that he's our first he had okay we'll just stop talking you see it at the beginning so it's fine up next our final what is this are you our final are you mon is a mon known as reggie steel now why did i pick up reggie steel you might ask it's because it's defenses its defenses are insane. Look at that. Oh, if you bring if you bring something that has a lot of physical defense, look at that. Good luck, my guy. Oh, you have a special defensive team? Look at that. Good luck, my guy. Oh, you have both, you have both, you have both. Oh, look. Good luck, my guy. This thing is a defensive beast. It has it could always hit you with seismic toss. If you're a ghost type, I'll just poison you. Um, it gets stealth rock, pretty sure. Yes, and it also gets spikes. I lied to you, it does not get spikes. Earthquake for Magirna. Um, rest, if you want to be that guy. You can do a lot of things with Registeel. It is a very good wall. If you could tell already, I built a really offensive team. Four of the six mods that are here are very def are very offensive. And if you also noticed, all of them are physical. All of them are physical attackers. So that's going to be a pain. Let's go to a different song. Um, all of them are going to be a pain. It's going to be a pain because I bought, I brought all defensive mons, which is pretty darn bad. So let's add a new team because we still have six more mons. Let's go to OU. Boop. New team. All right. So next, next for our final UU mon that we drafted was, why isn't he there? There we go. Was Gliscor. Now, why did I get Gliscor, you might ask? Because it is pretty good defense, and I wanted a defensive wall, another defensive wall. Why did I get that? Should have gone a special defensive wall, but I'm not sure. We're going to give it a Toxic Orb, of course, because it gets a ability knows a poison, known as Poison Heal, which will heal him if he's poisoned, which is awesome. He also gets um, Swords Dance, which is pretty darn good. Earthquake, Stab, Earthquake. It's going to be important for our team. Because he's the only mom that has Tab Earthquake on our team. He also gets Knockoff, which is amazing again. Um, he gets Toxic, he gets Baton Pass. If you want to Baton Pass the Swords Dance, Defog, if I'm worried about someone's hazards, Fire Fang, Ice Fang, is it like Thunder Fang? Stealth Rock, I already said that. U Turn, okay, yeah, see, this is just a very all around good mom. Of course, we're going to have to watch out for the quad effect of ice moves. 95 speed is pretty good, but that defense and attack and HP are really, really good. And that's what's going to make this mon viable to our team. Up next, we have another Gen 7 mon joining the team, and that is Nechelejo. Nechelejo. I think that's what it's called. It's a Nechelejo. It's a, it's a jellyfish. So let's type in Nechelejo. I think that's how you say it. With Beast Boost, Rock Poison. We didn't have a rock or poison type, so I thought, hey, Gwenas de Estos, or however you say it. Most likely choice scarf or choice um spect scarf, because if you look at this, if you max out that, and you max out that, that attack is insane. And if you get a kill, it's beast boost, which increases it by 50%. It also gets a really good rock move, which is known as Power Jump. There we go. Thought it wasn't going to be there. It also gets Ice Beam. Does not get Ice Beam. I lied to you. Um, poison. What is learned Poison? Um, slog. Smog. Slog. Sludge Wave. Or, or Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb maybe because 30% is better than 10%. So I'd rather have that. Let's see what it get, learns. Skunk Shot. No, it's a physical move. Dazzling Gleam. 
And what else? Stealth Rock. It's another rock user. Thunder Wave to paralyze. Thunderbolt. That's pretty darn good, guys. That's pretty darn dangerous. That's why I drafted it. Our first special attacker. Spoiler alert, there's only one more special attacker. So, wait. No, there's not. There's, um, there's two more special attackers. And speaking of our next special attacker, this is our final UU Mon. We have Starmie. Now, the reason why I drafted Starmie is because it is a very viable Pokemon. It gets Natural Cure in Analytic, but since this thing's relatively fast, Natural Cure is going to be the way to go. If you get Leftovers, it can get... That's it, pretty sure. That's what I'm going to be running on it. So, Leftovers. It gets um, Thunderbolt. It gets Ice Beam. It gets Scald or Surf. It gets Psychic, Stab Psychic. It gets Recover. It gets Rapid Spin. It gets It's a very viable one. It gets Dazzling Gleam. It gets Insane Flash Cannon. It gets, you know, Signal Beam for a Hoopa. You know, it gets so many good moves that it was hard not to pick it up. And plus, I needed a Rapid Spinner. I only have two Hazard Removers, and this is one of them. Now, the stats. Speed is really, really good, and Special Attack is decent. And both of our defenses are not bad, but they're not great. Oop, the song ended. Okay, this one's 24 minutes. Hopefully that's long enough. Song ended, so we clicked on a new song, of course. So that's Starmie. Don't know really what to say. Gen 1 Mon has been great ever since it came into the game. So hopefully it'll be great for us. Now that was the final UU Mon. And now this is for OU. And OU is kind of crazy because I was the third to last pick in OU. And this mon was still on the board. And I was kind of surprised because Kieran Black is pretty darn scary, if you ask me. Can you see that black border? I hope you can't, God. Please don't be able to see it. That'd be so embarrassing. I'm pretty sure you can. But Kieran Black is insane. Citrus Berry, Leftovers, Choice Band. Choice Band, Terrible, which means I got Earthquake, Levitate ability users. Um, let's throw in Outrage. Let's throw on... Where is... Oh, he doesn't have Earthquake. I forgot. Uh, Fusion Bolt. Let's throw on Iron Head. And let's throw on Return. Rock Slide. Boom. Look at this attack right here. That's insane. That's... Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And you could see the team when I showed you it. Not many of them... Only, each have only one fairy type, excluding a few. So, Outrage, if they don't bring that fairy type, will just wreck things, hopefully. And if not, we have other mons to take care of those mons, but this thing is absolutely outstanding. With, it's a one-dimensional mon. You just hit things until they die. So, that's all he's here for. Our next mon is our Mega. And the Mega I chose to grab for our OU Mon is Mega Lopunny. I got her in the second round, which is pretty darn good. I am happy that I got Mega Lopunny. Now, Mega Lopunny, Scrappy, I could hit Ghost types. No one drafted Cofagoras, so I'm not going to lose that ability. And it gets access to Fake Out. It gets access to Fighting Moves, because it's a Fighting type Pokemon. What am I doing? Drain Bunch. Boom, bada boom, bada bing. Uh, what else? Fire Punch. Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Ice Punch. It also learns. It learns Knock Off. It does not. I lied to you. It does not learn Knock Off. Ice Punch. Yeah, it learns all the punches. Return, Stab Return is pretty crazy. Thunder Wave to po Thunder People. Toxic to Toxic People. Why does my... What, what the hell just happened? My computer is tweaking, man. Anyway, that's why I got... It. Low bunny, because that defense, that attack, and that speed isn't playing around. It has awful HP and awful. It doesn't have awful defenses, but it has awful HP. So hopefully we'll just bring it in to destroy things. <coughs> so with all the, with my priority mega, my priority mega, my priority my priority hitmon top, my priority 
Amber Bomb in my priority Galissa Bob. You're thinking, what did I draft? And I drafted a Mon that negates all of the priority. That was Tapu Lele. Drafted Tapu Lele because every no, not everyone. One person was saying it was broken. He was saying it was broken. Everyone else was like, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? But they said it was broken. It got I grabbed it. I was third last first round, so no one picked it up besides me. So I guess it's broken if no one picks it up, right? That makes sense. But the stats do look pretty crazy. If you add choice spec, Psychic Surge, which increases Psychic type Pokemon's move. That's why I drafted Snarmy, because it's a Psychic type as well. And also negates priority, which means my priority moves won't work, but that also takes away this Mon from someone else. It's like one of those things, like if it's on the draft board, if no one drafted it, you have to draft it. And this is the Mon that no one picked up, so I grabbed it. And um, Stab, Psychic Terrain, Choice Spec Psychic would be pretty crazy. It also gets Moon Blast, which is also pretty amazing. It gets Energy Ball, Thunderbolt, pretty sure. Thunderbolt, I wish it learned Flamethrower, which would be amazing, but it does not. Special Attack, boom. Speed, boom. That's how I'm going to run it. Modest Nature. Excuse me. Modest Nature. And that's my six months. That's the six months I drafted right here. Which is pretty good core, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I think. I only have... The only thing I'm worried about is I have one, two, three special attackers. Everyone else is physical or split. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out for us, but we will get through it. Hopefully. I'm worried, but I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm not going to be playing. I'm not going to be trying as much as last year because last year I was like, okay, ooh, if I predict this, if I predict that, I'm just going to be playing. I'm just going to be playing this year. I'm going to be trying but i'm gonna be having fun so thank you guys so much for watching if you're excited my dog just barked if you're excited for season two please like like this video subscribe and go to our twitter our upa season two twitter and follow it if you want to also check out every coach every coach will be in the link every coach will have a link in the description below and every battle will have a link to its specific coach because this is a way to build a community it's a way to build friends in the pokemon community and battle and learn from them and grow together maybe collab in certain things and it's just a fun way to learn and meet new people so thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day As they say is in the pudding So show me the money like my name is Cuban Gooding It ain't fool's gold, it's gold, fool Can't stop